Having a powerful PC doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be loud. With M-based MacBook you start appreciating the silence because it handles most of the tasks without turning on the fans. And every time I turn on my PC after a MacBook, I feel like I'm firing up a jet. Just like in this video. It reminded me of the importance of energy efficient CPUs. However, as soon as it comes to a gaming PC, there is a misconception that you have to buy expensive, power-hungry and hot CPU, then add an expensive cooling system to it, all just to squeeze out a few more frames in low resolution. Wow! She goes, boys! I took a different approach and I built PC that behaves just like a MacBook. It's the quietest PC I've ever had, and to demonstrate the noise level from it, I used an app on my phone. This is the noise level in the room. Idle mode, just surfing the internet. Playing not very demanding games, playing very demanding games. And the mouse click for comparison. And it's not just quiet, but also powerful, which handles demanding games at 4K and with low temperatures. And to achieve this, we need the right case, hardware, cooling and a bit of software magic. Let's start from the hardware. When choosing a CPU, the most important factors will be energy efficiency and performance. Here the logic is simple. If CPU heats less, the cooling system is less loaded, then our PC will be quieter. But at the same time, it should not become a bottleneck for our GPU. For my RTX 4090, the ideal option would be Ryzen 7800X3D. It consumes 3 times less than 13900K and still shows the best performance in games. But apart from games, I'm interested in editing with Adobe Premiere Pro. And Intel integrated graphics helps a lot with that. And since I'm aiming at 4K display, dependence will be more on GPU, so I don't have to choose CPU from top segment. And I decided to pick i5-13500. It has 14 cores, 20 threads and TDP at 65 watts. With such a low thermal package and a proper cooling system, it will run quietly. The motherboard doesn't affect noise level, probably even a budget motherboard will be enough for this CPU. But I found a mini ITX motherboard on Z690 chipset and I bought it mainly for Thunderbolt 4 port, as I plan to use it in another video later. Also I added 32GB of DDR5 memory and 1TB SSD. Now I needed a compact case for a good airflow for RTX 4090, which will be the hottest component. My previous case had it running over 70 degrees, utilizing around 60% of the fan speed, which worked pretty loud. This time I choose a seemingly unremarkable case from ASUS. It doesn't have a front panel intake, but we won't need it, as we'll use water cooling for the CPU, which won't affect the case temperature. But also there is a space right below the GPU for two intake fans. The power supply in this case is connecting in the front, so the case is lower in height. I could also find a power supply with zero RPM mode, but I already had this one from Be Quiet. It's relatively quiet and it has 12V high power cable for the GPU. Now it's time to choose a cooling system. The main factors for me were the noise level and the minimum acceptable fan speed. Arctic cooling was the winner, capable of running starting from 200 RPM. I was glad to see that the fans were connected to the radiator right out of the box. And instead of a big instruction manual, we have a QR code to their website where will be animated instructions. And instead of pre-applied thermal paste, they put a small tube of MX5 in the kit. The case fans are also important. I needed to replace a stock fan with a quieter one, so again I choose fans from Arctic, since they have a zero RPM mode, which we're gonna use a bit later. Also, I'll install two fans right under the GPU for air intake. After that, we connect the GPU, a bit of cable management, closing our case, and we are ready with the hardware part. Since my motherboard and CPU are from different generations, I needed to update the BIOS. Without this, PC will not work. The next step is software magic. There are two ways to do it. The first and the simpler one is just go to the BIOS and select the silent mode for the fans. I used PC in this mode for over a week and I was already insanely happy with the result. But there is a second way with much better results. We'll need to download a fan control 
It is completely free and it allows us to make more flexible setting of the fans. After testing a few different options, I like the most to synchronize the speed of the fans with the GPU. And if GPU is not loaded and its temperature is below 60 degrees, it turns off the fans and our PC becomes dead silent for the most usage scenarios. Just like a MacBook. Only CPU cooling works at 200 RPM, but to hear it, you need to put your ear close to the PC. So, under the load, the graphics card is the only source of noise. But even this can be optimized. Personally, I use power limit at 70% and enable VSync everywhere. As a result of this, I get lower heat output with almost no loss in performance. Power consumption of this PC is also quite low. It consumes about 90 watts at idle and just over 500 at peak load. But in most games, it stays somewhere around 350 watts. So now I'm wondering, how much do you pay attention to the computer noise? Or am I the only one that's crazy? Anyway, now my PC build is done. Energy efficient, powerful and silent.